Hello, this is Brett Jorgensen of Triple Play News. We got some free breaking news for you tonight. First off, the New York Yankees became the first team in Major League history to hit three grand slams in a game, with Robinson Cano, Russell Martin, and Curtis Granderson connecting Thursday in a wet wild 22-9 victory over the Oakland Athletics. Remember, they don't call them Bronx Bombers for nothing. In fact, the Bronx Bombers have never put on a show quite like this. On a dreary afternoon, some fans headed home with the Yankees trailing 10-1 after three innings and rain still falling in a game that began after an 89 post minute delay. Robinson Cano started it with his grand slam in the fifth into the lower deck in right field off starter Rich Harden that made it 7-6. Russell Martin connected in a sixth off Faltino De Los Santos, a fly that barely made it off the scoreboard and right for a 10-7 lead. And finally, Curtis Granderson took his turn in the eighth launching a no-doubter in New York's right center field bullpen with two outs off Bruce, Bruce Billings. Martin homered twice and doubled, setting career highs with five hits and six RBIs. Cano and Granderson each drove in five runs as the Yankees pulled off their biggest comeback win and avoided a three-game sweep. Meanwhile, the five-time All-Star catcher Jorge Posada made his first career appearance at second base and had the final play fielding a grounder and fi firing a one-hopper to first baseman, Nick Swisher. And finally, Alex Rodriguez returned to the late Yankees lineup after missing two games with a strained left thumb. He had two hits and scored three runs. And guess who's back? You got it, Jim Tony is back with the Cleveland Indians. The slugger accepted a trade from Minnesota on Thursday night to return to the Indians. The team he started with and won holding its career home run leader can help it run down the first place Detroit Tigers in the American League Central. Tony spent 12 seasons with Cleveland from 1991 to 2002, hitting a team record of 334 home runs and helping the Indians reach two World Series. He had 52 in his final season before signing as a free agent with Philadelphia, a decision that frustrated many Indians fans. Earlier this month, the five-time All-Star became the eighth player in history to hit 600 home runs. The 40-year-old Tommy will waive a no-trade clause in his contract to clear his return to the Indians, who have been contending for the playoffs but have lost six of their last seven games due to a lot of injuries. Tommy's will likely, Tommy will likely replace designated hitter Travis Hapner, who is on the who is on the disabled list and may need season-ending foot surgery. And that's it for tonight. Thank you for watching and post your comment below about your thoughts on the Yanks record setting three grand slams in one game and the acquisition of Jim Tony. This is Brett Jorgensen of Triple Play News, signing off.